Hello friends. And this week I've been asked, not for the first time, how you can load a scene that was created in OpenTunes into Tahoma 2D so that you can take advantage of some of the features not yet available in OpenTunes. And as I've been showing some of these features recently, I thought I'd share this with you today. And it's pretty straightforward. So let me show you. Oh, and uh, afterwards, I'll also be showing how you can load a scene that was created in Tahoma 2D into OpenTunes. And that's not quite so straightforward. So do stick around for that. So let's take a look. And here I have a project created in OpenTunes. And to open this into Homer, you can just load in the scene by browsing to it. But I'd strongly recommend that you take a copy of the project and load that copy into Tahoma. And this is because Tahoma will change the content of some of the files. So you might not be able to reload the project back into OpenTunes. So just copy the project folder from where you store your OpenTunes projects to where you store your Tahoma projects. And as you can see here, I store both sets of projects in my documents folder away from the installation, which means that when I update either program, I won't lose my projects. And if you'd like to understand more about projects, their files and how to move them around, including how to copy a scene out of the Sandbox project, then follow the card at the end of this video. And now into Homer 2D, I can simply load the scene from this newly copied project. And that's it. Just copy and load. And now you can use Tahoma's additional features. But what if you've created a scene in Tahoma and you want to load that into OpenTunes? Well, it is slightly trickier, so let me show you how you go about it. So it's only a little bit different. But first, as we did with the previous project, copy the Tahoma project to our OpenTunes folder. So we have a separate local copy. And then run OpenTunes browse to its projects location, and we'll see our new Tahoma project. But notice that it doesn't show as a recognized OpenTunes project. And if you try to load the scene from here, you'll be told the scene isn't linked to a project. And to fix this, we just need to rename the project details file. So first, close OpenTunes. So if we show the project that was created in OpenTunes first, you'll see there's a single file at the root of the project, which is the project details file. So we just have to rename the Tahoma project details file into this same format that OpenTunes expects. So that's the project name, which is the same as the folder here, then underscore, and then OTPRJ, that stands for OpenTunes project, then .xml. So if I go back to my project created in Tahoma, you'll see its details file is just called Tahoma project.xml. So let's rename that to create it in Tahoma underscore OTPRJ dot XML. And now when we run OpenTunes and try to load the scene, the project shows as a recognized project and you can load the scene. So that's all there is for opening a scene file in another program. And if you found this tip useful, I'd love it if you give this video a thumbs up to let YouTube share this video to other users. But before you go, there's just one more thing you might be interested in. I've recommended before you open the scene in another program that you copy the project folder. But what if you've got more than one scene in that folder? How do you copy just the one scene? Well, I go for that in this video here. So take a look at that to find out how. Or check out this video here to find out one of my new favorite features in Tahoma 2D. So I'll see you next time for another video. And that's a guarantee.